The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. to Creation is Science, where we learn about our Creator through science and wonderful discoveries. Are you ready today? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready! Yes. I'm Aunt Francine, and this is Professor Roy. We have Eduardo. Hey, Eduardo, hi. Aiden. Hi. Aiden. Ethan. Hi, Ethan. And Allie. Allie. So what are we doing today? I see some tools. Maybe? We got a lot of tools. We got a What's lot of things on? to do today. We're going to learn about simple machines. Anybody know what a simple machine is? Hmm. Anybody? Anybody? It's on the tip of my tongue. It's uh, what? It's on the tip of my tongue. What do we use simple machines for? What do you think? To move yes. stuff. Yes, Allie. To lift stuff and move stuff. Lift stuff and move stuff. So simple right. machines helps us do work, doesn't it? Now, do you like to work hard or do you like to work more easy? Easy. <laughs> yeah, like, but you know, we can use some tools to help us, can't we? Yeah, hey, you know what I think we can do? I think we could do some work. You know, uh, Miss Francine, can you All come right. over here? Let's see, Allie, why don't you come on over here too? But stand by Miss Francine. Have you, ever tried, have you ever tried to pick her up? Uh-oh. Have you ever tried to pick her up? <laughs> Put your arms around her and pick her up? What do you think? Uh-oh. No, that would be hard, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be real hard. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to use a simple machine in order to pick her up. So let's see what we got right here. Al, if you could stand over here for a minute. And what we're going to do is we have a lever board right here, right? That's a lever board. We're going to use it as a lever. And I have a little thing like here. This looks like a tent or something, doesn't it? Or a building. This is called a fulcrum. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put this fulcrum underneath the lever board like that. And then I'm gonna tilt the lever board. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna tilt the lever board like that. We're gonna have Miss Francine. Can you stand right there? All right. There you go, but don't fall off. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's see what we got. Allie, why don't you stand right here? Why don't you come over here and stand right there, right? Okay, and I'm gonna be your safety, okay? So that if you fall, I'll catch you, all right? So what I want you to do is I want you to walk sideways real slow. We're gonna see if Miss Francine is gonna go up in the air. Can you lift her up? using a fulcrum and a lever. No, 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 don't, don't, move. don't move. I need okay. for you to stay right where you okay. are. There you go. Uh oh, it's not working. Is it working? No, what would happen if you jumped up and down? But don't jump and down because Miss Francine should go through the roof, wouldn't she? <laughs> no. Yeah, here, why don't you step down? Can you step right on down? There go. Come on down here. There you go, step on down. You know, what could we do? How could we do it? Could we move they the lever have, board a little bit? We could move the, um, the board. board to where to where um, Ali has um, more space to... Um, hey, let's try that. Yeah. Good idea. So that's what I'm going to do right here. So let's see what we got. Uh, we're going to... Can you move the fulcrum that way? All right. No, no. Leave oh, the fulcrum right here. Okay. Can you move the fulcrum that way? Let's, let's move, move the fulcrum. This. Keep going. This keep way. going. Keep going. There you go. Hey, let's try that. Okay. Okay. Now, can you stand on that? All right. Okay. Let's see what we got right here. <laughs> All right. Ali, are you ready now? Are you give ready? me your hand to get up. Okay, here, well, here, stand over here. And let's see, Ethan, why don't you come over here? You can be uh, Miss Francine's uh, spotter. And if you if she falls, if I, you have I, to catch her. Okay. okay, are you ready to go? Okay, so move this way. Okay, get ready because something ought to move. We've got a very long, whoa, 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 whoa. Now that's interesting. Look at that. So <laughs> did you know you were strong, that strong? <laughs> so what did, what did you use? What, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what did you use? <laughs> what did you use? <laughs> You used a lever, didn't you? She used a lever and a fulcrum, and that was really good. That's that it. It was fun. a whole lot easier than trying to wrap your arms around here and picking her up, right? Maybe we can yeah, that's great. really cool. Okay, so go ahead and step right off right okay. here. There you go. And we're, we're gonna put this down like that. Hey, thanks for helping us do yes. that. Okay. <laughs> Thank now, let's you, see what we got. That's and you can fun. go back on over here. You know, hey, let's try some other work. And this would be kind of fun to do. Let's see what we got. Now, um, uh, Eduardo, let's see what, what we can do. You know what? I bet you, I bet you uh, that you could pick somebody up. Would you like to pick him up? Whoa, whoa, no, no. I don't want you to pick him that way. You might break your back. 
That would be <laughs> bad news, wouldn't it? Okay. Hey, I'll tell you what. Here, why don't you get in my little chariot over here? Um, now, this is a little wheelbarrow. Let's a, see what we got. Now, the wheelbarrow. What's that? If it's a chariot, he probably have to turn around. And no, no, I don't think we're going to do that. But grab a hold of the handles right here. Now, let's see what we got. On the lever board, we have the fulcrum right there, and things pivot on the fulcrum. Take your arms and go up and down with your arms. Can anybody see a fulcrum here? Where's the fulcrum here? That's right, the fulcrum happens to be the wheel, isn't it? That's exactly right. And we have big, long lever arms, so go ahead and pick him up. Go ahead and pick him up, Eduardo. And let's go ahead, why don't you see if you can wheel him over there a few feet. Excuse Is that easy? No, just keep Is that going, easy? Just keep going. She'll get out of the way. Ginger's here. getting out of the way. Okay, very good. All right, now go ahead and set him down. Was that easier than trying to wrap your arms around him and carry him around? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay, well, come back over here. So we use simple machines to help us do work, like uh, wheelbarrows. That's interesting, isn't mm -hmm. it? I think so. Now look on the, look on your table. What do you have on your table, you guys? Well, I have. We some got a bunch bags. of what? We have some, some cog wheels. Cog wheels. And we have a, tools, um, we have a wedge, a wedge and a screw. That's right, and a screw. You know, all of those are what? Are combinations, or they are simple machines themselves. Isn't that interesting? I think so too. That is very interesting. Now let's see. And we also have something right here. We've got a skeleton oh. back there. Oh, that's it's interesting, stretchy. isn't it? Yeah. Now, you know that your body has simple machines in it? Did you know that? In fact, every bone of your body happens to be, most bones of your body are levers. That's interesting, isn't it? Like, let's take a look at this. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Take your arm like this. Mr. Bones has an arm too, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. But bend your elbow like that. Now the elbow is a what? A lever. It's a fulcrum, isn't it? It's a fulcrum and you can feed yourself, you can lift things up. So you have muscles and the muscles in your humerus bone attach down here and when they contract, then they lift your arm up. Cool. Isn't that cool? It's yeah, really cool. So our body was created with a bunch of simple machines that help us to operate. Isn't that the coolest thing mm -hmm. you can think of? Mm -hmm. I think so too. You know, we didn't talk about a number of things, a wheel and an axle. Some of you have some wheels, don't you? You have some gears and those gears are what? They're really wheels, aren't they? With little cogs on them. Look at the hammer right there. The hammer's a lever, isn't it? And when you hammer something, take the hander and put it in your hand and pretend like you're gonna hammer something, but don't hit the table. <laughs> and what happens? There's a fulcrum and you know what the fulcrum is? It's her wrist when her oh. wrist goes down like there. That. That's really cool. Hey, look at that. What's that one thing right there? It's a big wrench, isn't it? We call it a what? It's vice. A, right, it's like a vice, isn't it? A pair of, uh, of vice grips, but there's a lot of fulcrums here. Like, let's take a look. There's a fulcrum, there's a fulcrum, here's a fulcrum, there's a fulcrum, and there's lots of fulcrums right there, isn't there? And then there's a screw right there. A screw is really a simple machine as well, isn't it? Like I here. think so. Hey, you know what we could do? Maybe we could pick something up. And we already picked up Miss uh, Francine, right? You did it, and you did a good <laughs> job right here. Francine. But you know what else we have? We've got something, we've got a big weight, and I wanna see what we can do. I'm gonna move our little wheelbarrow over. Let's grab our big weight right here. And you know what, we're gonna probably need a little bit of help to hook this big weight up. All right. Let's see what we've got. Let's now, see let's if see. we can bring it no, down. No, hang on, no, hang on, let's see what we got. Hey, let's see, I need we, somebody to help me. Why don't you help me here? Tackle. Come on over here. We've got a big weight right here and we're gonna have this little strap lower down and we're going to hook something up to our weight and our weight is, our strap is coming down. Our strap is coming down. How much does that weight weigh, guys? Um, 45, 45 pounds. pounds. 45. 45 pounds. That's a heavy weight, isn't it? It really is a heavy That's weight. About Let's see what we can do with that. All right. She's going to hook up our pulley because pulleys happen to be simple machines as oh, well. Okay, there you go. And we're going to hook that up. All right, okay. All right, we're going to have to unscrew that little right. thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to unscrew that thing. We're going to put our weight on there. Now that's interesting. 45 pounds is probably half as much as that's some of you probably. weigh. What's that? As half, about half my... Half about what you weigh? So then you this is pretty pounds? cool. No, I think so. No. Hey, why don't you come around here? I want you to do this for us, okay? Can you pick that up? Just go ahead and, and pull down. Let's see if the weight goes up. Does the weight go up? 40. 
his ass. And the weight goes up, but don't drop it real hard on the floor because <laughs> no. it'll crack the floor. Okay, let Meanwhile. it down very easily. Okay, now that's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah. But you know what? He had to pull about 45 pounds of effort to get that thing up. But, you know, we can make work a lot easier, and Miss Francine's going to help you to make that work a lot easier. Yes. You know what she's going to do? What? No. She's going to need more pulleys yeah. in order to give us a mechanical advantage. So, you know what? I think, you know, I'm seeing a lot of pulleys right here. Let's check this out. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. That's and let's gonna give this to Miss Francine. Okay. All right. Let's hook that up way up there. Can you reach that? I'm going to try. It's really high. There you go. There let's we go. It over here. And let's see what we got. Can somebody count the pulleys? How many pulleys do we have right here? Can we One, count them? Four. One, four. We have four at the top. And how many at the bottom? Three. And we have three at the Four, bottom. Four, five, six, seven. We have okay. three no, no, at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Hang so on. So we have Hang seven. On. Okay, we've got, wait, we have seven pulleys. We're going to need to straighten this out a little bit. Yes, yeah, okay. it's, it's all crooked. All right, there we there go. We've got to get the pulleys all lined up. <laughs> oh, my. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and line those pulleys up. There we go. This is called a block there and tackle. Block and tackles kind of sounds like we're going to play a game, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but we're not. Okay, or so what we're going to do, we're going to have him try catch this again. We're going to see if it is a lot easier for him to lift 45 pounds. Can you do that? Does that seem easier to you? Look Maybe at that. It seems a lot easier oh. using what? Pulleys, interesting. Okay, now stop it right there. What I want you to do is this. I want you to take, you have a little finger? Take your little finger and wrap it around and see if you can hold 40. Look at that. Oh He's my holding goodness. 45 pounds with his little pinky finger. Did you know that your little pinky finger was that straw? It is because he's using what? A block and tackle. A block and tackle. Lots of pulley. Isn't that exciting? That is. A that yeah. is very <laughs> exciting. Okay, now let this down real easy. We don't want to crack the floor. Go ahead, let it down. That's right, all the way down, all the way down. There you go. It's going Thank down. You. It's going all the way down. We're going to lay that thing okay. down right there. Very good. You did a great job. Wasn't that interesting? Did you know he was that strong? We become very strong when we're using things that help us. Okay, let's go, let's go back to our tables right here. And you know what? I think that we can probably learn a lot of lessons by doing that. Can you think of a lesson that we might be able to learn? Was there something that we could learn? Anybody else have any ideas? Mm -hmm. What did you learn? We have tools in our lives, right? Uh -huh. yeah. What do we have spiritually? That could be a tool. We have the Bible. Oh, now we're thinking. I know, the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit. You're right. We have different things that God is helping us to grow, right? Jesus like the pulley. Jesus is basically our pulley, our lever. So you're telling me what? He um, helps us through hardships. And makes life a lot better, right? Yeah. A lot less there. work. He's there. Right. How's it called? You're, you're right. So we can do everything with God. Ethan, can you find a Bible verse? And let's look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5. Can you read that for us? 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 through 7. But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance, godliness, to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. So what was the first thing again? But also to give all diligence. Give all diligence. What does it mean to be diligent? To work really hard, right? To be yeah. very faithful and, and doing things. And then what was next? Vir faith, virtue. Faith and virtue, okay. You know, you have faith in whom? Whom do we have faith in? God. God and God. God. And then what's next? Virtue knowledge. Virtue and knowledge. Virtue and knowledge. Virtue knowledge of knowing the Bible. That You're will right. help you. And what about self-control? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you want to eat the whole cake, but you, you, you know you better not. But see, everything, <laughs> yeah. even with simple machines, we can have diligence and we can know God's will, right? In everything that we do. Aren't you excited that God will live in us? Don't you want to live for Jesus? I do. I do. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on Creation is Science!